I mean, the very first thing that we're always looking at is assessments to, of understanding where the, the athlete is at their current state, and then figuring that end goal of where we'd like them to be by the time it's for, for us to compete. So uh, we're looking from a position player standpoint of it, a lot of it comes with strength. So we want to make sure from a strength room, uh, strength assessment that we know their strength levels, what do we need to work on? And then as we move into to hitting, we're looking at you know their batted ball profiles. We're looking at, at exit velos. We're looking at launch angles, and we're seeing if those two pair together, uh, and they and they got the right type of swing for where they're at right now. But the biggest thing is we're always working to build that engine bigger. So we want to make sure that uh, we're giving them the right drills to kind of build the engine bigger and uh, strengthen. So I think getting that information uh, early is what we need, and then you know our goal is to continue to, to build that all the way through. Same thing, if you look at a pitcher, we're looking to try to build his velocity and build his, you know, and that's build his velocity on all, all his pitches. But I would say the biggest thing is assessing our athletes and then continuing to assess them and make sure that we're doing the right things to improve them. Phew, uh, there's a lot. I mean, it, we all know that hitting is very difficult. I mean, that's the hardest, one of the hardest things to do in this game. Uh, the pitcher, you know, is starting the action and the hitter has to, to react and he has to react to a lot of things. So uh, I believe that the thing that comes the latest would be swing decision and learning uh, of having great plate discipline and making the right decisions. Uh, as, as we're seeing velocities continue to go up for, for pitchers, that reaction time gets lower for hitters. Now hitters have to be more precise and, and sometimes maybe even pick out the pitch that they want to hit. So how do we create great decisions? We really work on seeing a lot of different pitch types, seeing movements, seeing spins, and learning to, to train our eyes to see, uh, to kind of see those things that, that, that they need to see very quickly. So I, I think the biggest thing is, is probably the swing decision and, and the plate discipline that it takes. Uh, most, of our, most of the players uh, already have their swing in place, their mechanics are their mechanics, and you can improve those. But uh, the one thing I think at, at our level, at a higher level, is, is really changing what they're swinging at. Okay. For us, it's, it, it's getting lots of reps. I mean, I'm a firm believer that the more pitches you see, the better you become. So it's, it's, a, it's a, process of, a process of experiences. Uh, if you can see thousands of pitches, then you're, you're going to be better. If you can see 10,000 pitches, Get, get better yet. So, whether that's through video or whether that's through uh, using videos to see that, whether that's through just getting multiple reps as a uh, getting them in the box against live arms, that that's that's one of the last, the least frequent that you can do because the pitcher's there. But uh, reps is going to be the biggest thing of seeing the ball travel and seeing that come at you, and, and we can train that through whether that's video, whether that's through virtual reality, a lot of different things. Biggest thing for us is just trying to replicate what we're going to see. You know, having the, the ability to go out and, and get track and reports and know what you know how much uh, vertical uh, break they have, how much horizontal break, what's the spin, what's the velocity, uh, what's the release height, release angle, all those things. If we can get that information, then we can, then we try to create uh, we try to create uh, players. We give them, we give our hitters a background of hey, this looks like you know. John on our team that's a left-handed pitcher that throws from a three-quarter slot. So that can already give that mental imagery of what that would look like coming out of their hand. And then the next thing is just get thousands of reps off of a machine with those same types of, of spin profiles and same type of movement. The more we can see the, the type of movement that we're going to see, uh, the better we're going to be in a game setting. So you know the only way to create that is really through machine and getting in that the distance and seeing that type of movement. Probably the competitiveness uh, would be, I mean, I think the best hitters don't always have the best swing. The best hitters aren't always the biggest, strongest guys. I think that the best hitters are the guys that really compete in the box. And, and, and uh, I think it, it takes a strong mental game to be a really good hitter. Uh, but that, that's the thing that you just can't measure. It's kind of like measuring the heart of somebody, you know, how big is the heart and, and, and that. So. Uh, but I do know that you want a competitor in a box and, and you want somebody that, that uh, just really has at the ball skills. I, I think, uh, you know, going back to the recruiting, like, you know, what would I recruit out of high school? I would recruit a guy that 
uh, really has good bat and ball skills because I know the easy part, the easier part is to build that engine to get him bigger, stronger, where he provides more harder contact as we go. The tough thing is, is to pull guys back that are big swing and miss and, and try to teach them how to, to have the barrel control to hit. So I would say that's probably the biggest thing.